Hey y'all, my name is Martha and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. So I like making DIY mom, home, and faith videos. So for today, I thought that we could go ahead and tackle my girl's um, Ikea kitchen. <laughs> so it's looking a little janky. It's definitely been loved. So I wanted to go ahead and get as creative as I possibly could with everything that I have on hand to just prettyfy it. A little bit more than it is right now before we get into the video i did want to say mm -hmm. i wanted to preface this video by saying that i today has been a day and if you are a parent you understand how some of those days go and i just want to go ahead and encourage you like my husband encouraged me uh, my outport on him it's like gonna be 2 30 3 o'clock and it has already been such a challenging day for me. And I doubt that my girls know otherwise, but we ran a whole bunch of errands and at the end of the day, I wasn't able to get everything that I wanted done. So that stunk because again, if you're a parent, you know that getting your kids out of the house is a victory in itself. So at the end of the day, what I need to get is momentary on a positive. We made it to and from our destination safely and it's okay to complain, you know, we are human, but he reminded me that I shouldn't let this affect my entire day, nor my entire week, or begin with it being Monday today, you're watching this video probably Tuesday or whichever day that you end up coming across the video. The enemy stays scheming, the devil is here specifically to kill, to steal, and to destroy, so don't stay stuck on the momentary. God remains forever and his word remains true. After I get this done and underway, I will definitely be spending some time with the Lord. I encourage you, if there's something that you're going through today and maybe you stumbled on this video, that crack open his word and just reflect on that because that is not momentary what you're going through is. Let's go ahead and get into the kitchen. I went with the intent when we bought this to buy that one that everyone and their mother has and everyone and their mother has already done some sort of Ikea hack with their own twist on it. Now, they were out of stock at the time so we ended up leaving with this one. What I did like about it is that it was cheaper so you can add on to it if you're like me and maybe have like a little bit of a craftier side. I already want to add like a little refrigerator. I want to do my own makeshift microwave. I'd eventually probably like to take this door off and put it on a hinge so that it swings open, that sort of thing, because right now I don't love that it slides back and forth. What I went ahead and grabbed was some acrylic paint that I have on hand and a brush. Now I know with this being textured that it's definitely going to leave some brush strokes. Um, I'm just gonna use it to touch it up. Um, eventually, because my husband's got it bolted to the wall, I'd like to take it out, take it apart as best I can and give it a good spray. Eventually, I would like to replace them. I don't love that they're on a screw, so they tend to dangle as opposed to like, I want them to stay spinning. I don't want them solid and stuck and I don't want them looking janky and just, dangling like that so let's just go ahead and get started Alrighty, so after removing all of those knobs, I went ahead and just started touching up any little nicks and chips in the paint. So on the top half, I just grabbed my finger and smoothed it out so that anywhere where the brush strokes, like on the top half, where they were super apparent and textured, and I just smoothed it out with my finger and it worked pretty well. Now when I started that first stroke and even seeing it play back on that black door, oh my goodness, it is going to look so good. I love the idea of just giving them a little white kitchen. Eventually, I think I'm going to post like an inspo pic that I found on Pinterest. I love the creamy neutrals um, tied into the white 
but yeah, I think it's turning out pretty well. Okay, so while my paint is drying, this is the design that I went with. I've got my cameo all set up. This was the color I wanted to use initially. I love pink, but I don't have enough of it. So I'm kind of debating between doing like a back and forth on the backsplash, like having it be diagonal, like the peachy pink, orange pink, or orange pink, and it's just so it alternates. I also wanted to be sure to include the cut settings that I have found that work for me on Vinyl Glossy. If you know, you know, the second you start messing around with a vinyl cutter and you can't get the settings down, it can be quite frustrating. Okay, so I went ahead and got my backsplash all cut out and you guys, it looks so cute. It's like super retro with the starburst design. Okay, so watching this back, things that I probably would have done differently that I recommend that you do differently, I went back and forth between using transfer tape because I knew that it would be challenging for me to get one stick of transfer tape on the vinyl sheet when I hadn't measured it out proportionate to how I wanted to get it applied on the wall, but I went ahead and just did like one by one. Okay, so I just went ahead and finished with a third coat of paint and you can 100% see the brush strokes, which I knew going into it using the brush that I had on hand instead of waiting and buying a different one. But my girls are getting antsy. They saw the new toys that I bought for them. <laughs> so I actually did spend money there because I have been wanting to DIY some food for them. And I found these from Melissa and Doug. And it turned out that these were like way better. They come in the fun little shape of like the milk carton and there's like some meat. But I will show you the full reveal in a sec. today is a brand new day <laughs> and I just mom life I was not able to get this all finished put together and even then there's just a couple things that I would like to tweak but my girls have not played in their playroom for what feels like forever to them so I wanted to go ahead and get this as put together as I could so now that the paint is dry on that door, but I kind of wanted to talk to you about a couple of things. So these two prints behind me, I did have blank frames that just like pretty white frames that I'm not using at the moment. But what I've noticed is that with Instagram and Pinterest and YouTube, just overall, you do have to tailor your areas within your home to your children to fit your family. 
Okay, but like I said, they're super eager to get in here and play with everything. They haven't seen the play food just quite yet. I just went ahead and double, double-sided taped them to the wall. There's a few patches I've already got to do to the playroom wall because when we first moved into this house, I decorated and I was not <laughs> aware with them being my first children how rough some kids can be with their toys. I didn't want to chance having glass frames on the wall. But I wanted it to be super kid friendly. <laughs> I've got kids already like itching and crawling, not wearing any clothes. Alrighty, if you guys got some fun inspo ideas for your own kids kitchen makeover go ahead and share the love and hit the like button and subscribe for more videos like this i upload new videos every tuesday on diy mommy and home